Tune in to Basement Talk. I'm your host, Riz the King. <laughs> G-Ray, coming out of St. Louis. Get my phone, it's an argument about <laughs> pride. Man, I'm telling you, so this is real life for me. Rookie of the year, rookie of the year, NBA. Man, 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 man. <laughs> we had an earlier debate on some videos a little past before the season started. No doubt. Me and you were discussing two of the rookies that actually got traded for each other at the draft. Right. Trey Young and Luka Doncic. Right. Previous video, I actually said that I believe Trey Young gonna be better at some point in his life due to how he got what the, the way his team was set up, which he has no chance of being. Huh? And I didn't necessarily believe in Luka, <laughs> but guess what? I'm a believer. I'm here. <laughs> Luka is the man. I can't hate no more, man. Luka is the man out here, y'all. Well, let's, 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 re let's repeat the statement. I did say he doesn't. Hmm? Trey Young has no shot at being better than Luka Doncic. No shot. No shot. No shot. Luka, In what way? Luka what? Doncic has a oh, better wow. has a better feel for the game. Is bigger. Way bigger. And he just his overall way of affecting the game is something that Trey Young won't ever be able to do. Trey Young got drafted and got looked at as a dominant player because everybody wants another Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. If people are fiending for another Steph Curry, can you shoot threes? Can you? Luka Doncic is not that. He's a great player right now. Right. He's a more dominant player at night. I think. Not about the same age. More right? dominant. More yeah. Luka, Luka, Luka Doncic affects the game. Luka Doncic the, was playing. I think the Rockets. Right. And scored the last eleven points to right. win the game at nineteen years old. But he's been plural for about four years, though. He does. He's been plural for about four years. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. that, that's fine. So that means he's always been better. You, you could argue that he's always been better than Trey Young. That sounds, yeah. But but the question was, at the in the, in the end, he'll be better. I don't think Trey Young stands a chance. I think Trey Young will be better. I don't think he's well, Let's hear why. It's not much of a difference. Because if you go look at rebounds or whatever the case, Luka obviously won't get more rebounds than Trey. So I'm not going to put that in the hole. I, okay. we, never, we didn't even put Trey Young for rebounds. That's fine. Okay. So that, that's, that's not even part of the argument. As far as points, Trey Young is going to shoot better. He's not shooting better now. He's not shooting better now, but he just, like. So, so you're saying he, he's a first year pro. You're saying going on years. Yeah, he's a first year pro right now. Luka Doncic is a five year pro. Okay. So you're That's a big difference. The level of basketball, Luca is used to playing a higher level of basketball for longer. So you think Trey Year, Trey Young, in four years is going to be comfortable as Luca is right now? And, I mean, so that's a fact, right? We know that your boy been a pro for quite some time, okay. and Trey Young just got there. Okay. Go look at the production that they do offensively with points and assists, steals and clutch. They about equal. Not clutch. They are equal. Not clutch. Oh no, you're wrong. No. Oh, you're wrong about the clutch. No, 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 he wants no, no, to watch no, no, no. games with Trey. I saw Trey Young make That's why he's clutch. In. Right. He's right. clutch. No, but he does more than that. He he get the he get the big time rebound. He got two rebounds a game I averages, but saying. he will get the rebound in the fourth quarter Dodgers, over guys Dodgers that he shouldn't get. Is a finisher right to end now. the game. Yeah. He finishes games right now. He's not growing into that. He's just gonna get better at it. But he's doing it right now. Trey That's Young. What I'm trying to tell you. Trey Young has been that guy. Trey Young is. Oh, he got at, at Oklahoma for one year. And even at uh, Atlanta, they still give him the ball at the end of the game. They just got a good team. That's why they don't win as much, because they're not a good team. I hear you, but what but I'm telling you. But he balls when he gets the chances. Luka is in that role right now, and he's excelling in it. So, what well, you're saying is you don't think Luka, Luka's not going to get no better? No, I'm saying that you're going to look at both of these guys being about 25 points a game. Mm. Seven, eight assists a game. Both of these guys will be the exact same thing. I don't see that. Trey Young well, is getting is getting I'm, together. I'm kind of, I'm kind of he's, with he, you. He's, he's missing shots right now. I see Luca being 25. Yeah, yeah, Luka, but not I don't Trae. see Trey Young being 25 games. So I told you from the beginning. So if you look at our prior video, I told you from the beginning he's not going to be that type of score in the league. The athletes get better, and he's a regular athlete for a 5'11 guy. That ain't 25 points a game. But he got 35 foot range. That's what makes him tall. He does have range, but, but he it doesn't ain't have going in. right. But it will be going in. That's the thing. How? Because he got that game. He has that game, he has, and he has he the does, freedom to, to develop that game. Well, see, now, 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 that's, now, that's why I got to come at you yet. So my original uh, reason I said Trey Young was going to be better, because I thought that he would have that freedom for longer to be able to do whatever he wants to get better. Right, right now, they got a boy named John Collins that's coming in, that's the best showing, showing that he's better than Trey Young. Mm -hmm. So now the offense is going through John Collins more than it's going through Trey right. Young. Better than Trey Young? No, I'm yeah. saying he's showing to the coaches that, yes, I can tell you. He's the best player on that, that team. I'm on that team, right? No, he's the biggest, most explosive player on that team. Because he's more explosive than, than, than Dedman. 
Dittman is not explosive. No, no, we know that. But, right. But what I'm saying, he got low post game. John Collins actually scores. So what I'm saying is the coach right. is starting to develop his offense more around Collins, right. less around Trey Young. But that's going to be better for it. Trey Young. You just got to admit, it. he's the best player on that team. Right, right now. He's not the best player on that team. He's the best player performing right now. I don't care what you think about in the future. Right now, right. John Collins is the best player performing on that team right. right now. John Collins can only go as far as his point guard gives him the ball. To the not true. That's very true. He's not, not bringing the ball to court. Nah, nah, nah. But not see, he's not Blake Griffin. Any point, no. Any it's point guard can drop the ball to him. Any point guard can drop the ball on the post. Right. Trey Young ain't like crossing people over and all of a sudden dropping dime at John Collins. Right, he's uh, got Magic Johnson. If you have, yeah, Drake, if you have Draymond Green dropping the ball to John Collins in the post, is somebody going to respect Draymond Green's three-pointer? They're going to leave him alone. Right now. They're going to leave him alone, know. right? I said point guard. Trey Young. I didn't say Draymond Green. I said point guard. Most, most point guards in the league got enough shot you got to respect them. You're not about to really guard Jose Calderon. Nobody really cares about if Jose Calderon. You don't leave Calderon wide open. Yeah, you don't. You're not about to guard him purpose. like you're guarding a Trey Young. All I said was you don't leave him wide open on purpose. I'm saying he doesn't get the same attention Trey Young gets. I'm just trying to say. Which will help with John most Collins. Most point guards in the league right now are going to shoot enough, good enough to where John Collins ain't about getting double teamed a lot. Right. That's all I'm saying. But there's not enough teams that are going to make sure their defense stops that point guard as opposed to John Collins. If John Collins had all the defense focused on him, it's a different play. Trey Young gets the respect. You must respect Trey Young on He's the court. A, Trey Young is a that's why you want a great point guard, inspiring no, player. No, that's why I say he has the potential to eventually maybe get there. But Luka Doncic is right. What what really tilts this in favor of Luka Doncic is he's not a great athlete. He his athleticism ain't never gonna be better. It's gonna be what it is right now, and right. he's still getting his numbers. Right. That's Larry Bird type stuff. Yeah. I mean, he knows the game. No yeah. doubt about it. Right. He's very work. He's super crafty. Like, he know how to get buckets. He know he, how to get shots. He know how to set up plays. He see. He know how to hit open man. He yeah. anticipates well. Right. That's something Trey Young don't have right now. I can't say that either. No, no, no. Pass, 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 pass. That's what I'm saying. Pass, he can pass. pass. He's, he's a true point guard. He can just shoot. He can, but. The combination of being able to score, being crafty around the bed. I understand Trey Young's not 6'8, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to fault Luka Doncic for being 6'8. He is crafty. His footwork right. is Stupid. just marvelous. And he averages how many more points than Trey Young this year? With all of this you're talking about, and five and four years of head start in pro ability. It's 15 and how 9. 15-19, huh? sorry. 15-19. So, so four points. Four points. 19 points a game to 15. So trade. he's scoring more and shooting a better percentage. Yeah. Basically. Right. You know Luka, how hard Luka's it is? Luka's at 43%. He's at 39%. Right. Right. So that means 5 percent better. he's shooting worse. Yeah. For shooting percent. worse to score a least amount of points. That means he's shooting more and to missing. score less. And missing. So, right. so what I'm saying is this is my problem with Trey Young. I thought he would make a little bit more of the buckets than he is right now. Right. So what's going to happen is as Atlanta start getting more better players... Trey Young was slow to get pushed to the back. Exactly. That's what I'm worried about. Exactly. No way. I was Why would he push him back? He's, it, nah. he's a first round point guard. I said slowly. Let me th it won't be slow. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a he's going to be in the league for a long time. I'm 100% on what he no, just no, said. No, no, I'm saying slowly. Let me throw a scenario. Who's going to put in front of him? Let me throw a scenario out there. Let me put him right in front of him. Here's a scenario that supports what he's saying. So the Chicago Bulls, the Atlanta Hawks, and let. Anonymous team A and B well, are in the all trash. Are all trash. Right. Mm -hmm. They're all trash. Right. One of them is gonna get the uh, Zion Williams. Right. So you mean to tell me that if they get Zion Williamson, uh, that Atlanta Hawks, which is a viable possibility, mm -hmm. that Trey Young is gonna average more points with Zion? I think the same amount of shots that he's putting up right now would not decrease. Yeah, he's still gonna shoot up all them shots. Zion will score. How many teams Zion have, will score them okay. points? So how many teams have multiple people that are shooting fifteen plus shots? I'm saying starting five. Fifteen plus shots, guys. Same starting five. I put it to you. But that's why I said Trey Young, his shots will start going down. Right. No, it's not. Right. Because think about this. It's, it's not. Because, because he's gonna be distributing the ball to better guys. Right. That's and they're saying. gonna run those plays. Trey Young's gonna still get buckets, but he's not. Zion steps into Atlanta, he's gonna be averaging that dub. John Connor's going to be averaging that 15 to 16. Trey Young going to give you about 11 or 12. How many rookies, point guards, come in the league and averaging 15 and 7? Out the gate, being as small as he is and as weak, <clears throat> little bitty weight. Man. How many point guards do what you're he's saying? You're adding extra about who being. No, 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 no. Any, I'm not adding extra. I'm showing you how good he really is. Y'all yeah. not giving credit how good he's really playing. No, no, no. I'm, I, that. I was a believer in Trey Young. He has a lot to go up against, and he's only two points less, Four same amount of assists. 
Uh, four points less as of right now. He plays his games. Right now. Now. I mean, I mean, but but Luca has a five year, four year advantage in the pro level. Right now, right. Let me talk this about. boy only played one year of real competition outside of high school, and then he comes to the pros and averages fifteen and seven. First year out, and I was and I was telling on a terrible and team. And I forecast this. I told you but, he's he's a good player. He's not a top three to five pick. He's gonna be good. I don't think Trey Young is ever gonna be a bum. He I'm said not saying it back. I'm and not saying it slowly. It's not gonna be slow. As Atlanta gets better talent, and I agree with all the people are gonna get the shots. So you're pretty much saying there's gonna be five players on the Atlanta Hawks team that's gonna be better than Trey Young. No, I didn't say five. So how's he get pushed back? All it takes is, take is two players. So right, so so, so right now, if Atlanta gets top three pick, right, and they gonna get a. Uh, I, 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 I ain't gonna say Zion. Let me think of somebody who's uh. And they, RJ like, Barrett. If they get RJ Barrett. Next year, Trey Young is not starting. If RJ Barrett is in there, if RJ Barrett is on the board, when it's time for Atlanta to pick, they're not going to pick because they got Trey Young already. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That, that, no. That's what I'm saying. No. They're not about Trae to. Young, they're not no. about to get Barrett. Oh, no. no. That's what I'm saying. They will get RJ Barrett. Yeah, I don't think they will. RJ they Barrett will. is not dropping below any team that can pick him. <laughs> right. Though. I don't it's think so. RJ, it's it's RJ no. Barrett is Zion going one and two. If Atlanta, I don't know what order, but it's one and two. If Atlanta, Atlanta misses is not going to pick him up. They are taking RJ yes, Barrett. They're not just going to be like we got Trey. And we can't have right. RJ Barrett. We do not. No, no, I'm trying to say, no. Trey has not shown enough to where you can be like, you know what? He's literally our future. No. Right. Toronto has they Tracy have given McGrady, him the and reins. they said, let's go ahead and give it. We got a 6 8 2 to slash 3 who can score and jump out the gym. Let's get another one. They traded because they wanted Trey Young. Yeah, nah. and Trey well, They well, traded because they wanted there, Trey Young. There's more Next to, year, they're not going to give up on this project. But you got to rather that. It was more to why they wanted Trey Young. Atlanta wasn't selling no tickets. Trey Young was the biggest exactly. hype and I, out of the draft. I, 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 so let me get Trey Young, try to sell some tickets. Right. If he don't work out, uh, right. get somebody But there. he's working out. He's an excited no, player. Yeah, I mean, he's okay. He's working out. No, no, but he's popular, working out. His popularity is not as high as it was. That's not important. He's working out as a starting point guard, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a rookie. You know what I'm he's showing man. promise. They got him for the popularity a lot. He's showing promise that he can start at the point guard level at the NBA and be effective. Start up and he's clutch at the end of games. And they give him the ball at the end of games. That's, that's not because they're making because they they're doing it because they have no other option. They do. They're they doing that to. because they believe in Trey Young. That's why they trade to get him. <laughs> I tell you, well, they no. traded for him to sell because tickets. they believed in Trey and Young. Because you know when you had a, a crappy team, and he hasn't he hasn't disappointed. You got to Don't act like it's a disappointing year. When it comes to Doncic, yes. you have to. Uh, we're comparing it's not. Yeah, when it comes to Doncic, how is it? Their career is will always versus, yes, yes versus right. Trae Young. and it will always. Be that. So, so you got a five-year pro be. and you got a one-year pro, and the one-year pro has only four points less, and he's uh Do you seven inches four shorter, points and you're less, eight inches shorter. Shoots a whole bunch, probably 50, 70 your, pounds less. In your opinion, hindsight being twenty twenty, do you think Atlanta would have preferred Doncic right now? Trying to win the games, trying to win games, they probably would have gone with Doncic. Exactly, that's how we say it. Right. That's so that but the, the, the question was in the long better? run, and I'm saying I'm Team Trey in the long run. But see, you got to put it also like this, too, right? Dallas actually got good players on their team when they got Doncic. Mm -hmm. But Doncic's coming in being better than the players that were already good on his team. They didn't Harrison have, Barnes. They didn't have no true Dennis point guard. Dennis Smith. They had J.J. Barea, but J.J. Barea is always a backup. They had no true point guard. And here, you yeah, know what? Yeah, you just, said, what you just said exactly what I was trying to hit you with. Right. What? What? Dallas Mavericks drafted Dennis Smith Jr., who's a what? Uh, point guard. Shooting guard, point guard. Point guard. And then they, yeah, then they brought Doncic in to handle the ball, even though they already had because Dennis Smith. Because they traded to get Luke. Right. Well, what was Dennis Smith the year before? So you don't think Trey Young, you don't think they, they got a chance hard. to look to see if he's a true point guard or not. Dennis Smith didn't turn out to be a true point guard. He's a super explosive, probably one of the best well, athlete, athlete point guards in that draft Trae last Young year. Trey Young is not going to stop them from getting R.J. Barry. I'm trying to tell you. He's not going to stop what? them. So, so R.J. Barrier is going to be a compliment to Trey Young, or is he supposed to replace? He's, he's gonna, he's gonna take yeah. first. No, 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 I think they both can start together. I so he's too. a compliment. I do too. No, he's no, a compliment. No, RJ Barrett, when they're when they, when they, when they going to practice, RJ Barrett's gonna be killing Trey Young. Right. He's gonna be that and starting Trae Young too. Slowly get pushed to the back.